Ah, there it is. Left it with the woundage kit. Man, I'm all busted up. But today in the shop, we have a few different jobs going on. And the reason we came to get this drop light is because I'm over in the dungeon. We got this 2014 Ford E350 with a misfire. First thing first, let's see what we got in her. Two thousand fourteen five point four. Yes. Identify type of radio. Aftermarket. It's not an option. Let's just go to the engine control module. PCM power control module. Uh, read defaults. Key on engine on. Or actually, no. I cancel that. Retrieve codes. Alrighty, so we have a cylinder seven injector A open. Interesting. And then we have a few random misfires. Misfire and start it, misfire seven. Alright, I'm really curious about this injector circuit. Let's check it out. Alright, sorry guys, I have someone stopped in. But we're the main concern I have is this cylinder seven injector circuit. So it's a P0207. The rest of them are pretty much random misfires, misfires detected. But if we have a dead misfire on seven, that can generate a lot of additional problems. So what I'm gonna do is, um, let me see what else we can see here to see if this misfire is active. Let's go to uh, power balance. Maybe, maybe that one will give us a better insight. Well, there you have it. Cylinder 7 is a dead misfire. So that could be affecting many other things. So we got to get in there and see what's going on with cylinder number seven. All right, we just got a couple clips on all four corners, essentially. All righty, then I just wrestled her out. Now what I'm gonna do is take a look, see here, I believe number seven, this is back, oh, this cylinder here is further back. So that would make cylinder one up there. So seven would be, let's take a look see. Oh boy, I see something already. Looks like something's been down here chewing. A couple different things. There's some plastic missing off the top of here. But more importantly, well, more importantly to this diagnostics is I can see some copper wire sticking out of what appears to be our number seven injector wire. All right, sure enough, now I got you guys set up in here. You can see it's definitely our number seven injector wire. That'll definitely cause a misfire and read an open circuit. Hopefully nothing else is chewed up back here. Happen. You think something actually chewed that plastic away? And also nibbed away on that. That's so crazy. What the heck was it? Whatever it was, I hope it it's not still in here. For further inspection after pulling and moving around some wires, you can see it also started away at that that injector wire as well in two different spots on both conductors doesn't look like it chewed through like it did on number seven so I might be able to pull this one back in liquid tape all right guys well we just pulled the insulation off definitely an open circuit it wasn't at the top one that we first initially seen it was at the bottom 
once I peeled the insulation off where whatever whatever kind of road in it was chewed away it was the bottom portion that was all the way through creating the open circuit it didn't appear like anything was shorted uh, it just appears to be open uh, let's do a quick repair on that make sure we have no other misfires unfortunately once I got back to the best material it's a little too short to just use a butt connector so I'll have to make a small section focus all right these are style arrow connectors I'll be using this is a small pigtail I made up to give us about the same length as the opposing wire conductor so I'm going to repeat the same crimp inside the vehicle all right so there's the final crimp getting ready to slide the heat shrink over top of it i used the marine style as you can see on the back one when i melt it down or when i heat it up it'll melt out the glue on the inside and make it watertight resistant okay so you can have it you can see both sides are sealed up nicely before i go and tape it up i just want to start it up make sure our misfire is cleared all right so we're going to go back to special function we're going to do the power balance Oh, wait. Ah. You know what I did? I just um, <laughs> created my own problem. When I was crimping that last wire, I unplugged the coil. Give me access for the crimper. Let's do that again. Okay, so what did we learn? So we went in there, we confirmed the customer's complaint. Then we pulled up some scan data. The scan data also showed us all the trouble codes, pending, current, continuous. We did notice that we had some random misfires, but the key one, the main one that we wanted to focus on was an open circuit for a fuel injector, cylinder number seven. If you have a dead hole, it could throw everything into balance. So we went in there, we looked at the power balance, sure enough, everything was pointing to that number seven cylinder. So we had that code for an open circuit. So what do we do next? We get down to the source. We popped off the doghouse, put our eyes on that injector for cylinder number seven, and sure enough, something got in there and wasn't where it was supposed to be. Did some damage, opened that circuit. We made that circuit complete again. The misfire has now cleared up. As you can see, we reconfirmed that with the scan data, looking at the power balance. So everything is looking pretty good across the board. Next, I'm gonna jump in there, repair those other two wires that look like they got nibbled at. That'll probably just peel back the insulation, use some liquid tape, seal everything back up, and that one should be good to go. Um, next, he's gonna want me to dig deeper with the exhaust, in addition to maybe giving it a complete tune-up. So stay tuned, I thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I always look forward to reading your comments. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.